So we have some systems in our bodies that help to control other systems. And so you might, when you think of a control system, you probably think of your brain, right? So that's part of your nervous system. So the nervous system is a big part of our control of our body, but also we have part of the nervous system is the sensory. So nervous and sensory, right? Those kind of go together, those systems. A lot of our sensory structures are just, our neurons are just modified neurons that are able to absorb stimuli. So for example, our taste receptors, modified neurons, our olfactory receptors, touch receptors, modified neurons, okay? We also have the endocrine system. And so I wanna compare these two. The um, nervous system uses neurons that release neurotransmitters. These neurotransmitters can communicate between neurons. So they're released and passed and they stimulate other neurons. Uh, so they release neurotransmitters that stimulate other neurons. When we look at the endocrine system, we have glands, right? We have glands, these are cells. This is epithelial tissue. The glands produce and release hormones. These hormones are transported in the blood to their target organ. Their target organ could be far away from where it is released. So for example, we could have, say for example, our pituitary gland releasing follicle stimulating hormone, which travels down to our gonads, which are our ovaries and our testes, all the way down. And then that actually causes the formation of sperm and the formation of eggs. So the endocrine system the, for example, our reproductive uh, cycles are regulated primarily by the endocrine system. Okay, so when we look at these two systems, this one, the nervous system and the endocrine system, they work in coordinating each other. So they are interdependent. We talked about interaction between systems. This is where they interact. So generally nervous, it has to do with um, a fast response, but it tends to be short acting. Okay. The endocrine system tends to be a slower response. And it is long acting. So there are some structures in your brain that are both nervous and endocrine. So a good example of this is the hypothalamus. It is both nervous tissue and endocrine tissue. So it can actually send a signal to your pituitary glands, nervous signal, neurotransmitters, that cause your pituitary gland to release hormones. The hypothalamus also produces its own hormones. So it could produce, um, say, uh, for example, it could produce oxytocin, which is the feel-good touch hormone in our bodies. And so it also produces antidiuretic hormone which helps to regulate urine output and water retention in the body. So the hypothalamus would be an example of this. We also have some, some chemicals that are actually neurotransmitters and hormones. 
So a good example of this is adrenaline or norepinephrine. Okay, so this is like adrenaline. So norepinephrine is a neurotransmitter in our sympathetic or fight or flight responses, our autonomic nervous system, not the part we think with, but just the automatic nervous system. So for example, when you start to sweat, it is due to that nervous sweat, for example, it is due to the release of uh, norepinephrine between the neurons that then stimulates the production of sweat. Um, it is also produced by the adrenal glands and put into the blood. So when we get like uh, anxiety or panic, we can get this flood of norepinephrine, flood of adrenaline, which causes our heart rate to increase, our blood pressure to increase, and it makes us very hard, difficult for us to go to sleep, right? So these control systems um, are interconnected, but they do play slightly different roles depending upon what is needed by the body.